This three finger technique also combines beautifully with legato, so I like to combine those two elements in phrases. If we were to play a phrase here, for example, with these six notes of one, two, four, one, two, four, I might play the first three notes with the three finger technique, and then play legato on the next three where I just strike this, the first note, and then hammer on the next two. So I have the strike, strike, right? So all three of the first notes are played, and then just the first of the second three are played for that legato sound. So you can get this. sound. And you can take the speed up and you get this beautiful, beautiful tone, which I quite enjoy. Right? You get this beautiful legato and percussive attack, and you use that in your phrasing, and it's a great color to add to your phrasing. If you combine those two elements, you could play phrases like... In that passage, I simply played in G major, G here, the 10th fret of the A string, and I played up, starting on the third of G, that three of G, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the octave of G. So I played that with three finger technique. And then I played this legato phrase down, which is simply the G open string. It's that linear scale with a couple stops along the way, but it's all G major in the linear form. So it's simply, after I play that phrase, oh, I played the open D string with it to get a nice chord sound there, a little two note chord there. So I played. Was that phrase. So that's the idea. Combine legato, you can use this three finger technique, those two things go beautifully together, and you can use it for some really beautiful punctuation and some really resonant speed when you want to, and for that beautiful effect as well, all by its own, that beautiful sound of the triplets and quadruplets uh, all by themselves. Hope you enjoy that. See you in the next lesson.